I, I still don't really remember how to do this. So I'll lead. Lead you out. I will dive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So talk about what you still don't know what to do. So explain so what you created here. I created a website um, a year or two ago. Um, so when I was like eight, um, eight and a half. Um, and I remember like always doing it since um, like dad would show me how to like copy link and stuff and yeah. I haven't done it in a long time so all right and we we have been doing this in the morning and they were doing this like late in the afternoon yeah, 5 yeah and we kind of we got to go and get dinner and then I've got to go and have a meeting after that and you've been at school all, well well I, at school yeah. all day and I've been running a workshop all day with Scott so yay, 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 yay. we're all kind of tired but we're doing it anyway aren't we all right so can you maybe just walk us through this website? So what is this website about? Um, I think like all of my all of my favourites characters. Yep. Well, and was, was the mouse? Oh, there it is. Yeah, sorry, I've got four screens. <laughs> you got to find right. which one took the mouse. So like, um, so like I was young. I didn't. I didn't know. As opposed mom. to now. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so like. Doctor Manhattan, Doctor Strange, Juggernaut, and a bunch of other people. So you've got a whole bunch of YouTube videos embedded here. Yeah. Uh, now, I, I think from memory, because we are literally just trying to remember this on the fly at the moment, but originally you sort of put everything on the one page, and then we started putting things on separate pages and linking to them. Yeah. And then we started doing some CSS. Now, just for people that are just joining now, but we... We started on Monday doing just like an hour of code each day in addition mm. to like all the school and other responsibilities. And we did code.org uh, on the first day. Then code combat. Basic seconds. code combat. And then on the third, we did a bit more code combat now. But we're doing HTML and CSS then in yeah. code combat, which was super cool. But now this is like the proper HTML and CSS. Mm. So uh, tell you what we're going to do. Let's just alt tab. And I've got to make sure we flick onto the right thing now because we've got so many windows open here because dad's workshop is still kind of there so this, do you recognize this code um i recognize tags like head body tags and like all title right. so let's let's just sort of go through what we had on this page because this is all code that you created i just don't know how much of it you still mm. remember and then we'll just figure I out what we're going to do next i remember so, like all together to like 500 lines or if you had all the pages together yeah so yeah. let's just scroll all out the top of this so now remember we've got everything in tag all at the top. All right, stop scrolling around. Uh, so all at the top, line one, HTML tag. Now there are two main parts of the HTML tag. So what do we got on line two? A head tag. All right, and what do we put in a head tag? Title. Okay, stuff like title. You know one thing I'm gonna do, if I hit the control key here and then I scroll. Oh, can you not zoom like that? How do you zoom? Dun, 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 dun. It's not touch screen. No, no, but you know what had happened. It's like Visual Studio with Zoom. If anyone knows how to Zoom in Visual Studio Code, leave me a comment. Uh, so I'll figure that out on my other PC where you do this. It's just always easier when you make a big text when yeah. people are watching because people might be watching like a phone or something like that. Okay, so in the head, we've got information about the document. Mm. So we've got a title tag. What have you got on line six? Can you remember what that does? It's a link. href style. So what does that do, though? I'm going to follow the link. Can't show the link. Okay, but what did it say when you hovered over it? Control plus click to follow link. Ah, there you go. See? Now that. All right. So uh, we created a cascading style sheet. So remember, we were just looking at cascading style sheet. Yeah. Um, okay, Oliver says control plus to zoom. Hang on, just before you do that. I'm not sure that will work like that. Can we just try control plus in visuals? Oh, there we go. Oh, thanks, Oliver. Nice work. Look at that. Massive. All right, cool. So let's just undo that because I'm not sure precisely what you just did. And we don't want to muck around the CSS yet. We're just trying to... No, no, don't backspace. Control Z. Well. Just keep pressing Control Z. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's just go back. So we're on the index page. So remember, the index yeah. page is always like your start page. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the head stuff is all the stuff about the document. So it's the title and... I can it's spell either. 
What's re, re, oh replicate? Where do you spell that? I, I, I thought I thought they tried to spell the place. Oh, okay, yeah, don't worry, I can't spell either. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You, you, okay, you can't write either. Now I I know I can't write with my hand anymore because I I haven't had to write in a thing for like twenty five years. That's the problem. It's a lot. I skill. write every single day. Yeah, you're a kid. You have to. Okay, so. Uh, now we get the body tag. So the body is going to be all the stuff that you actually see yeah. in the browser, but you don't see line nine. So why don't you see line nine? It's just the HTML. Okay. But what is line nine? You've just been looking at this in Code Combat. What do we call that? That's on H line nine. Um, something, question mark, something, something. All right. So let, let's try this. Let's alt tab. Well, in fact, before we do this, line 10, what's that? Um, oh, that's, it's a really big, what? So what's the tag? H1. Okay, so what is an H1? Um, it's, well, but the higher you go, the smaller the text is. Yeah, but what is it? And what does H stand for? Heading. I did it all by myself. <laughs> okay, so it's a heading. I don't need your help. Okay, cool. So you're going to see heading one. Now what I want to know is line nine that says this is the HTML. If you go alt tab, so back to the browser now so you see a website. Okay, hold down alt and just, all right, stop, stop, Oops. stop, stop, stop. Okay. Alt, press tab once. And we're looking at the other window over here that other people can't see because it's got all the other stuff from right in the middle of with workshop in there. Press it again. We go there. Press it again. We go there. Press Whoa. it again. We go there. Press Whoa. it again. Ari's website. Bam. Whoa. Now, when we go to Ari's website, the first thing we see on the screen is Ari's website, right? That's the thing yeah. that's up the top here. Now, because we've just come from Visual Studio Code, if we just go, oh, tap the tab. Whoa. That's this. Why don't we see that? What does it mean when you have less than angle bracket exclamation mark dash dash? HTML? It's a comment. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. You just saw this in Visual Studio Code. Oh, not Visual Studio Code. <laughs> oh, man, it's a long day. <laughs> in what was the other thing? Code Combat. Okay. So why do we have comments? Can you remember? Um, for, like, for stuff that's like Code Combat, it's to help like, you understand. All right, so it's, it's, it explains things. Yeah. Cool. Okay, what about line 11? What happens on line 11? So what's it's a this? P tag. And what's a P? Uh -huh. Don't tell me. It's a, it's a term. Padding. In no, it's not padding that starts with P. No, it's a paragraph. That's what I said. Do you didn't say? You said padding. Okay, so we've got a paragraph. It says, welcome to my website. And this paragraph. is some stuff that I like. Uh, and then what does this do? Can you remember what this does on line 15? I'm going to get my HTML book. It's a link. All right, cool. It oh, is oh a do you link. mean like HTML for dummies? Yeah, yeah. So, like. That's all you. True story. <laughs> this is the book that I learned to build web pages with. And look where it's gotten me. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is that everything that you're doing here. So I got that book 25 years ago. And. This is still the same sort of stuff. The browsers looked a little bit older there. But oh, this is like so if we go through here, seriously. Okay, so this is what <laughs> Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, if we go back to here, can we find that paragraph? Oh, wow. Some really, really funky stuff on here. But all of this is still relevant. Like the basics of HTML, see, like document headings. Title. Supplies title that labels entire document. Um, there's some other stuff on here, which is actually a little bit outdated, if I'm honest. Don't need that. I'll put that over there somewhere. Okay, so um, what you started doing though is you started doing things like you you had a you had Angel Rider on the page. Well, let's actually do Deadpool because you'd had Deadpool on the page, but then you decided on this page, but now you've actually created a different Deadpool page. So let's go through and look at the Deadpool page and see what's there. Okay, cool. We control click. That's nice. All right, so this looks really similar, and you've got a head, you've got title, which is Deadpool. So do you know where that title appears? So when you see title in the head, do you know where you see that later on? No. Okay, let's hold down the Alt key and just tap Tab once. There we go, cool. 
Now let's click on the Deadpool link. Where does it take me? Ooh. So see how the tab now yeah. says Deadpool? And then if you if you publish this website live, and I think we'll try and do that tomorrow, if you publish the website live and then Google indexes it and you do a Google search, then the name of the Google search result will be Deadpool because it gets that from the title. I think if I can publish it, I need to make a couple more tweaks. Yeah, but then again, it's like you can just publish anything. Because, right? like, he is destructible. You just can't kill him. So your your superhero page is factually incorrect. Yes. I'm going to fix that. <laughs> I think that's, like, one of the least you worries at the moment. I oh, that's a good fix website. That. Don't get me wrong. But, okay. Uh, so let's Alt-Tab back to Visual Studio Code. Now, we'll see, you should be able to do that with fing thumb and forefinger. It's much easier. Okay, so... Let's have a look at what's on this page. So very similar sort of thing. You've got an HTML comment. To, to be honest, you don't really need the HTML comment, do you? Because it's like, mm. this is HTML. We know that's there. You would use an HTML comment if you wanted to actually explain something that might not immediately be obvious. Yeah. Now, we just did all of this in Code Combat, but line 14, can you remember what's the tag on line 14? Ordered list. Ordered list, beautiful. And 15, 16, 17, the tags on those, what are they? Listed item. List index. items, yep, oh. very, very good. So this is pretty cool. Uh, and then down on line 22, what's happening on line 22? Do you know what an iframe is? Read what it says. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> I dropped out the of iframe. school. <laughs> Just because you're not going to a school classroom at the moment doesn't mean you dropped out. The iframe element represents a nested represents browsing, browsing context. context. That sounds a little bit wordy. It's a web page within another web page. So what's actually happening here is you've got an iframe tag and then you've got several attributes. So you've got one attribute called width. The width is 1,148. Can you remember what that is? What pixels? Unit? Yes, very good. 1,148 pixels. The height is 646 pixels, and then the source is that YouTube page, right? Now, if you want to see it, let's just go back, Alt-Tab. Okay, cool. So, in fact, what you've done is you've just opened five tabs, because every time you press Control-Click <laughs> in Visual Studio Code, it's open your tab. Don't so let's close that. each one of those, because we don't need those. We don't need, like, full-screen Deadpool at the moment. But when you close this one, see how that... Okay, stop clicking around, seriously. See how that, the source of that iframe is that Deadpool page, right? But mm. you have set a width and a height, so it just stays that size. All right, cool. Can we can we just go back? So let's click the back browser. Sorry, the back browser, the back button in the browser. That one? No, you just alt tabbed. The back button in the browser. You know how to go back on a web page? Yeah, that one. All right, so now you're on your home page. So you put Deadpool on a new page. Uh, um, Angel Rider. Has Angel Rider got a page? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Why is it in Russian? I don't know. So, some videos are made by Russians. Okay. All right. That's fine. While drinking vodka. <laughs> don't go down that path. You can't. Anyway, let's move on past that. Uh, okay. So go back. It's not my fault I watch YouTube. Let's go back a page. So what do you want to do to your, your website now? What, what if we Think start... It. Like, just, uh, like, just... Let's start with something kind of obvious. Mm. The colours. Okay. <laughs> are you happy with these colours? Nope. I'll fix it. Okay, what do you want to do with the colours, just before we alt-tab back over there? Um, maybe... So what, what I want you to do is alt tab back to your website. Now don't leave here. At the moment, you've got aqua for the title. And then gray for the background. Gray for the background, and you've got aqua for the paragraph as well. What color do you want? Should I just do default colors? You know, no. no um, gray, gray for the background, black for the text. Uh, okay, so you're happy with the background color already because that's kind of yep. gray. Okay, but you want to make the text black. What if we make the headings a different color to the paragraphs? What if we make the headings... 
Why don't we make the, the headings red and the paragraphs black? Okay. All right, so let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Now, can you remember, how do we define the colors? What's the thing that we use to set the style? You're just guessing. I'm looking. All right, style sheet, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. So, now, before we go any further here, so let's, let's have a look what the style says. So, this is CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. Mm-hmm. So we have got uh, on line two, we're declaring that for the body. So remember the body is like everything that appears yeah. like on the screen. I know that. I went to coding class. Okay, good. The background color. So yesterday we spoke briefly about RGB. So can you remember what RGB is? It refers to three colors. Oh, um... RGB, red, green, blue. Okay, cool. Now this actually says RGBA. Do you know what the A stands for? Annihilation. What? Annihilation. And that's not annihilation. A is alpha. So A is like a transparency. Now we could have RGB, we could have RGBA, but what you'll see is we've got RGBA, we've got 0, 0, 0, and then we've got a decimal there. Now the first three colors, so the first three numbers refer to how much red, how much green, how much blue. So there's no red, there's no green, there's no blue, so there's no color at all. So what are you going to get? Nothing. Well, you're not going to get nothing. Wow. It's still going to be color. It's going to be black, right? So what if we were to go in here and let's say the first zero, what if we change the zero to 100? What do you think we'll get? Okay, now let's save it. Control S to save. What's the S? Uh, yeah, it's sort of erased off this keyboard because I've used it so much. Oh my gosh. And now you're having the same problem I have every time I use someone else's computer, which is like the keyboard feels really, really weird. No, it's not the keyboard, it's your keys. You've, like, you've, worn, you've worn out completely the A and the S and the C's halfway there. I do a lot of work. Okay, so have you saved it? Control S. Yes. Okay, now you know what we're going to do? Let's just make this simple. We really don't need RGBA. Let's do, let's do RGB. RGB, and I'm going to take out this last value. Bam. Okay, now see the little color swatch next yeah. to it? It actually looks like a dark red, doesn't it? Yeah. So these numbers you have everywhere from 0 to 255. What if I do 256? I'll try it. Okay. Cool. Change to 255. So leave it here. 254 is okay. Just leave it here. So what it's saying now is remember your range. Or and another day we'll talk about why there are 256 values. There's 256 because you start at zero. So zero through 255 is uh, actually 256. That's, what I, that's what how I learned to count. Well, you didn't. Yeah, but this zero, is a funny thing. Zero, one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight. A again. What? My life is <laughs> life. There's, there's another story here. We'll get back to that another time. All right. So. You've got all of these values. Now, 0 is none, and 255 is all of it. So what you've done is you've just said, give me all red. How much green have you got? 0. How much blue have you got? I, I get it. Okay. Oh, I know, I know. So do you want to play around with that? Pick a color you like. So what have you got now? Whatever that color is. What does it look like in a little swatch? White? Yeah, because now you've got all of every color. So when you've got none of any color, you've got black. When you've got all of every color, you've got white. So here's the other thing we can do. We can grab the mouse. Give this to me. And we can actually hover over this in Visual Studio Code. Oh, and yes. we can go down here. So Give now me. you've got your color swatch. Give me. Oh. Hover over the color. Over RGB. Or maybe it's over the numeric value. Give it to me. Over there. Okay, and then we can click around like this. See that? Give me. And then, so what you're doing is you're just picking different shades of yellow, and then you get the slider over here, and you go, Whew. all right, so now you can pick the color you want. Now, while you pick a nice color, I'm just going to embed this link in our uh, 
live stream page. Oh wait, so that, that's the background, so I'll need... So what you'll see with your background is if you drag that little indicator that all the way to the brown. left... That looks brown. That looks brown. Okay, so see how here the red, the green, and the blue colors are all the same number? Mm -hmm. Every time they're all the same number, you've got gray. You've just got a different darkness of gray. So pick the color that you actually want for your background. Should we take suggestions from online? What color okay. should Ari put in his background? What color should Ari put on his foreground? What color should I put my background and what color should I put yeah, for... Yeah, Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Why don't you pick something there from the moment? There we go. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Building web pages. Okay, uh, what about your foreground? Because your foreground is aqua at the moment. Now, here's an interesting thing. What's it? So at the moment, this just says color aqua. Yeah. So there are a small number of colors that are built into the browser that it understands. So things like aqua, red, yellow, green. But you've got a lot more choice when you start to use RGB values. So why Yay. don't you start dragging that around and seeing what happens? See so how you're getting a different RGB value at the top now? Uh. And then when you choose the one you want, watch what happens once you actually select it. See, the color has now just changed to RGB as opposed to just like aqua. Uh, Pedro wants violent. What color is violent? Uh, violet. Okay, <laughs> I, I'll do violet. What color is violet? So violet's basically purple. Now, the question is, is violet a known color in the browser? Now, you have to delete out the different RGB values then. So you got the RGB values at the end. Should, should I just delete everything? Just from press what? delete until those numbers are gone. No, that's backspace. Delete. Top right. Your right's on the right-hand side. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so I don't think it understands. Uh, did we spell that right? Violet, V-O-I? I'm going to try V-I-O. There you go. Okay. Violet. All right. Sweet. Okay. Violet. We should do Violet. All right. Um, what, what about the background color? What should we do for the background color? Uh, because I think, I think you need a darker color because mm -hmm. like a Violet like that. Also, just have a look. What's on the end of line three? Semicolon. All right. Cool. Because we spoke about that yesterday where the JavaScript. I'm surprised. And I, I'm surprised I know that. Purple backgrounds, black foregrounds. All right. Okay. Do it. So purple background, black. What? We're spending a lot of time getting this color right. <laughs> eh, it's what the people want. So, yeah, purple. Okay, done that. Oh, whoops. All right, so also you need to spell color the American way with no U. Really? <laughs> Just to make things even more confusing, trying to explain to the kid. No. Purple. I feel like you're making this harder than it needs to be. So, what yeah. have you done wrong on line four? What I do you think? I deleted too many things. Press, put a space there. Okay. Put. What have we done? Put a semicolon at the end of it. Why don't we have semicolons? I'm too tired to figure out what's going on with this. Hang on. All right. Oh, when all else fails, until we start talking about source control, what we do is just press Control Z. So, is it someone asked to put the camera down, I think. Can we tip the camera down a bit? It cuts off your face frequently. Okay. It's because you're too little. And I put your chair up as high as I could too, and I try not to get like the Microsoft in shot. I'm too small. Sit up straight and it helps. Okay, let's just change this because we're spending way too much time just trying to get a color here. B L A C K. <laughs> Black. All right, sweet. Oh, okay. no, we need purple. Change that to purple. Put, uh, put, oh, yay, okay. Got that? Okay. Yep, cool. All right, can we save the file? Save it. 
alt tab back to your browser, reload the page. F5 reloads as well. All right. Awesome. Oh. Look at that. You can't really. Uh, you know what I think you should do? I think you should make the purple lighter. So let's alt tab back to Visual Studio Code. I can let's do that. pick the color palette now. Just I think you can just click on the purple. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so let's now make it up there, here, somewhere like that. That's super pink. Let's go up to about there. Drag it over there. A little bit there. Yep, cool. Let's just do that. Okay. All right. Now, why didn't it work? I didn't press save. Right, alt tab, control S, alt tab, F5, start using keys. F5? Yep, it's between F4 and F6. All right, cool. cool. Okay, awesome. Now, I can see a problem next to the YouTube video. Hi. What's that? <gasps> oh, no. Why is that there? There's an angle bracket floating around. Now, which page is this? Have a look at the end of the URL. Okay, there's the URL. What's the index. name of the page? Index. So let's go to your index page. Let's scroll up to where you have that video. All the way up. All right. Can you see you've got a rogue, so an extra, greater than bracket, greater than angle bracket. Don't scroll. It's right in the middle of the screen. I want to see if you can see it. And it actually highlights it in a different color. You got to sit up straight. <laughs> I'm looking for. Oh, should, should, should put the mic down. Mic down. It doesn't nope. matter. There you go. Okay. So we hear it. Uh, it's a good mic. Found it. All right. Fix it. Let's see if it works. All right. Cool. Fixing problems all over the place. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Now, what we should do next is you got Deadpool on its own page, Angel Road on its own page. What if we put Dr. Manhattan on his own page? I can do that. I can try. Well, you did actually create a page for Dr. Manhattan, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I created a page for Deadpool, Dr. Manhattan. So why don't we just update your index page to link to Dr. Manhattan instead of having all the Dr. Manhattan stuff on the index page. Yeah, okay. Right, so you don't have, this is, this is the Dr. Manhattan page. So this one's fine. Let's go back to your index page. No, nope. index page is right there. Okay, so see how you link to Deadpool on line 15. So you've got a hyperlink inside a paragraph tag then on line 18, you've got a hyperlink inside a paragraph tag. So we're linking to Deadpool, linking to Angel Rider. Why don't we just delete all of the Dr. Manhattan stuff? Quitting this? Or yep. Keep and also that YouTube video. Is that Dr. Manhattan? I'll, 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 I'll check it. Ah, don't click. Because remember what that did, did is that opened it in Chrome. So now you need to alt tab back to Chrome. Yeah, no, that was that was Deadpool from before. Who's this one? Um, that's Ghost Rider and Angel Rider. Oh, okay, so we we can get so rid of that anyway because we've already got. Okay. Um, now let's try and make this that's easier. That's a lot. Let's try and make this easier. Let's scroll back to here. Now don't press anything. Okay, I just don't okay. think I have a um. We YouTube wanted, video of Dr. Manhattan. So here's the start of what we want to delete. So we've got line 20, the cursor's on line 20. Okay. Yes. Now, this is all Dr. Manhattan. Dr. Manhattan, I think, goes all the way down to here. This is the start of the next one, which is Dr. Yeah. Strange. Wait, oh, oh, maybe that's Dr. Manhattan. Uh, that, that it, it is. YouTube. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. it is. Okay, hold down your shift key. And then we're going to click all the way down here. See how that just highlighted all the text? So let go of the shift key. Now let's just press backspace. Okay. Right, so that's now all that's of Dr. Fun. Manhattan gone. Okay, let's fix our indentation because we just screwed up our indentation. And you know how I feel about indentation. 
your indent can you remember what indentation is because we were talking about that yesterday all right is the h2 tag there should it be where it is there or should it be press space again because we've got to line up with the p tags yep back one now it's too far in back two because he just went too far so okay stop a second here's the hierarchy remember the hierarchy here's your html tag we go down here four spaces in his head we're not going to have the argument about head uh, spaces versus tabs for anyone who's about to raise that <laughs> so one two three four there's your title tag so see how we've got hierarchy. So when you look at the code, it's much easier when everything's indented properly. So down here, look I, at Doctor. I, I, I can't read. It's too far away. Look at Doctor Strange. Okay. So that should be. Um. All. That. All. Um. One, two, three of these are very bad. That's not true. That's not true. And that's true. <laughs> okay, but. That we, we don't sort of care too much about that, and maybe you can actually work on the details of your web page later on. Because at I the moment will. we're just trying to sort of focus on the code a bit. So what I'd like you to do is we've got a Deadpool link inside a paragraph and an Angel Writer yeah, yeah. link inside a paragraph. Yeah, yeah. Can we make who are we linking to? Uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Manhattan. Manhattan. Can we please make after line nineteen another link inside a paragraph? And to make it easy, just copy and paste. Okay. One of the previous ones. So should, so should I just find a YouTube no, video? No, no, go back. All we're doing is we're doing the link. Mm -hmm. So can you select lines 17, 18, and 19? Yeah. Okay, copy. Remember how to copy? Yeah. Okay, go down to line 20. Paste. But we don't want to link to Angel Rider. What do we want to link to? Box Manhattan. Okay. Okay. So do it. Nah, go back. Okay. An A is an anchor tag. It's what mm -hmm. we use to link. The href is the link or the URL that we want to go to. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do Dr. Manhattan, right? Mm -hmm. Do we want to link to Angel Rider? Mm -mm. Okay, so change it. It's still going to be .html, so don't do things that you don't have to do. I feel like we need to do how to select 101. Well, I, I, know, I know how to select. Okay, so just change the angel writer text to Dr. Manhattan. Yeah, that's, that's all you're going to change. So Bart's saying, uh, Troy, how old was your son when he started learning to code? So I think the first, no, while you're doing that, I'll find the first blog post we did. Um, Troy Hunt, Harry, learned to code. I hope this is how you spell it. Okay, so have a look at, in the left side, you've got your list of your files. Mm -hmm. How are you spelling the Dr. Manhattan.html file there? Yeah, I did it, I did it right. Is it right? Yeah. Because remember, if you get Dr. one Man. single one, one thing or thing wrong, it doesn't work. All yeah. right, we'll try it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, so, but he was six. I'm just going to post in the blog post uh, of when we first did this. All right. Now, why does it say Angel Rider twice? Fudge. Because remember, your, your, your anchor tag wraps around the text that you want to link. So what's the text that you're actually linking on line 21? This one? No, that's the thing that you're linking to. What's this? Why have you got angel right there? So people commenting on how cool Visual Studio Code is. I've got to spend more time on Visual Studio Code because it's got a lot of super cool like auto completion stuff and and syntax highlighting. I've got to get to grips with the extensions. In fact, I think I've got to get to grips with that before I get into publishing this to Azure. Well, but, but before you publish it, I need I need to make some changes. 
Uh, yeah, so long as you can do them before early tomorrow morning. <laughs> Got a tight schedule. <laughs> okay. All right, how's that look? Now, does the link work? Yay! Okay, go back to Visual Studio Code. You are linking to Dr. Space Manhattan.html. What's the name of your file? See over there on the left hand side? No, remember, don't change that because that's the text that appears on the web page. Don't change that. Oh, yeah, change it. See what happens. How do you define which page you want to link to in a hyperlink? What? How do you define which page you want to link to in a hyperlink? What about it? Okay. Mate, you want people to click the Dr. Manhattan. Here, give this to me. This is the text which is displayed on the page. Mm -hmm. This is the file that you link to. Mm -hmm. What's the correct name of the file? Because obviously that's wrong. Can you see over there? Dr.Manhattan.html What's between the words Dr. and Manhattan? Semicolon? No, that's not no. a semicolon. I don't know, hyphen? Yes, hyphen, or hyphen, dash, minus sign. So put that hyphen. in. Hyphen. Put that in between. No, that, <laughs> mate, that's the text which appears on the page. We just did this. Okay, what goes here? So George is suggesting IntelliSense. So when we're doing this, uh, yeah, IntelliSense is, is it gives you hints and it auto completes. So let's just reload this page. We'll see if this works. <clears throat> okay, cool. Yay, the video doesn't work. So that pretty much works. You're not happy with the video? I tell you what, get a new tab, go to YouTube, find a Dr. Manhattan video, and we'll, we'll change the yes. video. Um, yeah, so George, we're using IntelliSense last year because IntelliSense. Um, is obviously nice. Hey. Oh, you're getting all my YouTube videos now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like Family Guy dirtiest jokes. All right, just, oh, look, it's us. Live Yay. now. Well, that's really matter. Should I watch it? No, 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 don't watch it, because then it will play back yourself, and then it will, will get into like an inception loop. Dr. Evil Bill, Billion. What have you been watching? Dr. Evil Billion. Oh, you know why? Because I wanted a video of Dr. Evil doing this. I anyway, know just search for um, Dr. Manhattan. Yeah, so we were using um, we're using IntelliSense. I just kind of I'm trying to find that right. Like what's the right balance between actually having to learn stuff and then having the IDE sort of complete things for you and do truth the work behind for you. Dr. Manhattan limitless power. Uh, God you can or puppet? You want. Also, the title tag probably shouldn't go more than two lines. Yeah, so we were talking about like white spaces yesterday and how white spaces sort of don't count. This could actually be playing back through the audio. Can you press pause, please? Okay, cool. So what we want to do is we actually want to embed this page, uh, this video. So if you, um, in fact, so here's a, here's where YouTube works. Every YouTube video has a unique ID, and that unique ID is a set of letters and numbers. So see up in the URL, yeah. Up at the moment it says V equals. Just double click on that string. Let's so say V. Double click there. Yep, double click. Copy. No. Oh, I don't control V. Escape. Okay, try again. Double click. No. On the code, control C. Okay, now let's Alt Tab back into here. Now, this video is on the Dr. Manhattan page, right? So, can you open up your Dr. Manhattan page? That'll do. So see where the YouTube video is embedded down here and see how the YouTube yeah, video yeah. has a source and at the end of the source, there's a code. So we're going to replace that code with the one on your clipboard. That's it. All right. Should we see if it works? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you remembered to save. Well done. 
Uh, yeah, so we're talking, um, George, about HTML tags and sort of thing and white spaces. Okay, cool, cool. So that's fine. Go back to your home page, figure out what you want to do next while I answer the questions here. Um, uh, yeah, this uh, brings uh, me back. That's, what? <laughs> George is saying, well, this brings me back. It's like, yeah, this is, this mm. is exactly the same way I learned to build web pages. People are old. 25, yeah, thanks. 25 years ago. Um, all right, so think about what you want to do next. You might even want to just go to the browser and look at your website in the browser. Look at my what now? Huh? Look at your website in the browser. So in Chrome. Okay, go back to your home page. So click back. Okay, what do you want to do next? Um, change this. Uh, and yeah, so George was saying we could have just right clicked on the YouTube video, click embed code, and that actually gives you the whole syntax, the whole tag that you can just embed. So this is sort of one of these joys, isn't it? There's all these different ways of doing the same thing. Uh, huh? What are you doing there? Wait. Where's your code? Remember, if you screw it up, control Z. Did we ever, did we ever do a Doctor Strange page? Yeah, but it, I... No, no, no. I think we only did Angel Rider, Deadpool, Doctor Manhattan, and Doctor Strange. This is Doctor Strange. No, no, sorry. Uh, well, I think we only did three. I don't think we've ever done Doctor Strange. Okay, well, I, I, I can just delete them. I, should, I shouldn't have put them on there. Well, but don't we want to put Doctor Strange on there? Nope. Oh. So who have you got on your homepage? If you go back to your browser again, yeah. you've got Doctor Strange there. Yeah, but I, w I don't want him. You just don't like Doctor Strange anymore? No. Do you like Juggernaut? Yeah, sure. Okay, so why don't you delete Doctor Strange from your homepage? That doesn't work. You're in the browser. Delete Doctor Strange from your homepage and then create a web page for Juggernaut. Okay. How is he not gone? I didn't see what you did. I was reading the comments. Okay, so you're on the index page. Well, Doctor Strange is still there. I can see the heading tag. All right, so the two different things. You're selecting the files. Do you want to delete the page? There's nothing in it anyway. How do, how do I delete this? Okay, there, there are two different things here. Which page is this? No idea. What's the URL say at the end of the URL? Remember what URL is? Uh, no. Yeah. What's the file name at the end? Index. Index what? Dot HTML. Okay. So this is the index.html page. So I open up index.html. Yep. Oh, yeah. You see where it is now? So. So why don't you just delete Doctor Strange out and leave Juggernaut? I'm just going to make sure I, I delete the right one. Okay. Now, what's in that iframe? Because that iframe is going to sit after the link to Dr. Manhattan and before the heading about Juggernaut. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so let's just go back to your web page. We'll reload it and then we'll just see what's in the iframe. Did you save? Wait. I think you saved. No, I didn't. Ah. Huh? Okay, so the text about Doctor Strange is gone. Oh, I gotta delete. I still gotta delete the video. You haven't deleted the video, so remember that that video is what's in the iframe. So how are we gonna delete line twenty-three? Now, there are shortcuts for all these things as well, but right now, that would be just be one other thing to remember. So let's just get rid of line 23. Okay. If someone says it's Doctor Strange, he's difficult to get rid of. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> okay. So you still want Juggernaut though, yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay, so can we please create a page for Juggernaut and we'll put the Juggernaut text on the Juggernaut page. 
Can you give you some tips about how to do this quickly? Yeah. All right. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Now, it says Juggernaut on the left of the screen. So let's just click on Juggernaut. So what is Juggernaut over there? Because it looks like that's a file, doesn't it? Now, I that's just it. a file called Juggernaut. Now, what's different about that Juggernaut file and, say, the Deadpool file? Juggernaut has, like, lines okay. instead of... Can you see why? There's something else different about the file name. Forget about what's on that part oh, of the screen. Oh, it doesn't have HTML. All right, it doesn't have .html. So can we right-click on that and rename it, and we'll make it a .html file? Mm -hmm. This one or this one? Down on the file explorer there. <coughs> Excuse me. Current. Oh. It's not current. Capitals for HTML? Are the other ones capitals? Nope. Beautiful. Okay, so now you've got a page. Now let's try and make life a little bit easier. Life let's, isn't easy. <laughs> well, we can make it easier. Let's go to the Deadpool page in Visual Studio Code. Let's just copy the entire page. Copy everything. everything. So do you know how to copy everything? Control A. Beautiful. I well, smacks. Control A selects everything. What do we yeah. need to do next? Wait, what, what do you want me to do? I want you to copy the entire page. Hmm. Okay, now let's go back to Juggernaut. Very good. Okay. Now, let's go to your index page. Index. I'll give you a little hint. You know how you can do an alt tab to go backwards and forwards to the other application? Yeah. What if you do a control tab? So what happens with control tab? Huh? Let go. Magic. So control tab allows you to flick between the last documents that you had open in the same program. So mm -hmm. alt tab gives us the last yeah. program you run. Control tab lets you go to the last document. See how we can hold yeah. down control and keep pressing tab? Cool. So the less that you have to take your hands off the keyboard and put them on the mouse, the more efficient you are. So let's go back to the index file here. Let's copy your juggernaut content in fact, we won't copy it, we'll cut it. Let's cut Juggernaut. I've never cut anything. Okay, can, cut's really easy. So select the text for just for Juggernaut. Yep, Control X. To cut. All right. Control S to save. Can't find it. <laughs> you know where it says. Come on. You've been pressing it how many times? Control Tab. No, that's Alt Tab. Alt tab again, control tab. Hold down control and press tab until we see juggernaut selected. Bam, there we go. So now let's play, let's paste juggernaut over all the Deadpool stuff. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll try and use the mouse or the keyboard a little bit more. Shift, up, 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 up to there. That's all Deadpool? Mm -hmm. Control V? Mm -hmm. That's all juggernaut. Mm -hmm. Can you put that body tag back where it's meant to be? Don't use the mouse. Where's the body tag? Just press enter. No, go down. Down. Press enter. Is it right yet? No. What do you want to do with the body tag? Okay. How does this page look? Neat. Pretty neat. What about the title? Uh oh. Now, do you know what this big dot means just here? Nope. It means you haven't saved the file. Nice. Save. There we go. Cool. Go. Okay, so the Juggernaut page looks good. Mm -hmm. Are we done? I don't know. Um, well, let, let's go to your web page and see if we can link to Juggernaut, see if we can see Juggernaut. Repay, refresh the page. All right, what's missing? 
the link. Okay, can we put the link in? How do we do that? So which, which page has got all the links on it? Okay, we're going to put in a link to Juggernaut. So your, your cursor is in the right place. Scroll up a little bit. I can't find him. Scroll up a bit. So we wanted to put Juggernaut after Dr. Manhattan because this is where we cut him out, right? Yeah. So how do we put in a link now to Juggernaut? No, that's the Juggernaut page. You're on the right page. You don't have to change. So how do we link to Dr. Manhattan? Just checking. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, look, I'm checking. I'm checking. <laughs> I'm checking. I don't know what you're checking, but all right. I don't know. Okay, how do you make a link? What? How do we do this? I don't know. I, I was hoping you would know. <laughs> Come on, mate. So I think you're starting to get a bit silly on this. I know it's been a really long day. This is the last thing we want to do. How do you link to Dr. Manhattan? It's right there on the page. href. Okay, cool. And the ahref. So we can copy and paste, right? So mm -hmm. look at line, what's on line 20? I don't know. Ari, what's on line 20? A P tag. Okay, and what Paragraph. does a P do? Paragraph, very good. So let's select line 20 through line 22. Cool, can we copy that? Can we paste it beneath? Bam. Now, what do we need to change on line 24? Dr. Manhattan. Okay, and what are we changing it to? Check it now. Cool. Oh, oh, stop. You opened a debug console. I don't want to need that. Go. Now, look, there is an autocomplete. So, what if we just press down and then press enter on Juggernaut? Yeah, but then I'll or, to HTML. Or, there oh, you go. No. Magic? Now remember, that's the link to the file, and this is the text that will be displayed. Hello, oh, mate. Cool. Happy days? Yeah, my bum hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've been sitting in the seat all day. I have not moved. Well, I've, I've moved. I've moved. So Ari's had his. Um, was it your second day of learning? Yeah. Uh, basically, like. Like I, I don't want to say homeschool because not homeschool, is it? Um. Well, I had to sit at a computer, like, and we talked through this um website called Big Big Blue Button. So like we, I talked to my teacher, and like we would talk to each, like my classmates would be there. Um, and basically, like, it was really dodgy, like, half the time we couldn't just, just remember your teacher might listen to this later on. But you mean the, the quality of the connection? Yeah, like, yeah. like, it, like um, sometimes I could, I could only hear, like, bits of the sentence because it would just buffer. Yeah. Um, but this is hard, too, because your teacher and all the other kids are trying to f suddenly figure out on very short notice how to make all this work remotely, right? Yeah. Um, but... Well, I've just, I've had like, you have an hour break and another half an hour break. So yeah. from, so basically, so 9, 10, 11, what, 11, 1, 1, I don't know. Long day. Yeah. Hey, just for a go, stand up, show everyone your t-shirt, because that oh, t-shirt's yeah. awesome. Which way are we rotating that way? <laughs> nice. Quality T-shirt. Yeah. All right. Hey, let's let's wrap it up there. We've we've got. I think one. We'll maybe try and do one more of these tomorrow. But I've got to okay. run the workshop again with Scott tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You got school work. Um. W will we do it in the morning again? We will. We will try. I want us to get sleep as well because the whole idea is to try and stay healthy at the moment too. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. 
But uh, we'll definitely do another one where we publish this at some point as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you for watching. Bye.